hello guys welcome to today's tutorial in this tutorial i will be teaching you how to do page auto numbering in Corel draw for instance you have done your design uh, like what you are seeing on my screen right now this is a front page and this is back page and i have the inner of the jota for instance let's take this as normal exercise book or a jota okay so for instance this is my inner and i have up to like maybe 70 pages that i have to number or probably it's a magazine that you have up to like maybe 500 pages or any type of book that the pages are bulky and you need to do your numbering from one to maybe like 400 or 500 as the case may be so the traditional way we have been employing when we want to do our page numbering in correct draw okay so for instance i have number one number two number three and so on so the traditional way we have been using is that we need to do our page numbering one by one which is uh, so cumbersome and it is time consuming and the worst part of it is that if after doing your numbering you are done with your page numbering and your client who gave you the work to design for him or her says that there is a page you have to add in the middle so for instance you have 300 pages or 400 pages book that you have to number and the client tells you that at page number 100 you need to add a page in between that simply means you are going to start numbering again from number 100 to the last page because you have altered the numbering so the number 101 is not going to be number 101 again the number 101 is not going to be number 102 okay as the case may be so in this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to bypass that stress of numbering your page one by one so let me show you how you might have been numbering your page previously like i have it here i have my numbering in black circle here for instance this is what you will be doing you pick your ellipse tool and uh, put your color okay so this for the page one right then you go to your text tool click on it and tape one okay so when you type one then you carry it and put on this circle and uh, give it color and uh, you need to copy this you need to copy this and go to the next page okay sorry let me duplicate this page duplicate page Okay, so I need to go to this next page. This is page one, and I need to go to this next page, paste it, and write number two. For instance, I have up to like 400 pages. That means I'm going to be doing it like that page one, page two, page three, up to 400 pages. And if by any means I miss a page or I do a mistake in the page numbering, it is going to cause chaos then i have to start all over again so this is okay let me delete this and teach you how to do auto numbering and if you want to design your numbering you can as well do the same okay i'm going to delete this page three then and leave only this inner to insert an auto page numbering on your current draw pages what you have to do here is to go to layout menu here okay so click on layout now we'll be working with page number setting and insert page number so first let's click on page number setting okay so two things we are going to be doing here the first thing is to determine where the number is going to start from and what number is it going to start from now you know that the first page is our front page so we are not going to start numbering from there it is going to start from page two so the first second one here i want it to start on page page two okay so it is starting on page two then the numbering is it going to start from one two three or you want it to start from two three upward or you want it to start from maybe seven upward but mostly your page numbering is going to start from number one okay so i want it to start from number one but on page two so number one is going to be on page two okay now the third one is the style of the number because there are books that have preliminary pages that are written in roman figures 
So we have the number, the Roman figure in capital letter, the Roman figure in lower case, the alphabet in capital letter, the alphabet in lower case also. But for this tutorial, I'll be making use of one, two, three. You can try all that on your own. So I choose one, two, three, four, five, then I click OK. Okay, now it is not appearing on the page for now because we've just done the settings. So let's go back to the page layout and click on insert page number. So it is when we insert the page number that it will appear on our page. Okay, so we click on all pages. Okay, so as you can see now on the first page, according to my settings, there's no number there. But which is the front cover, but on the second page, I have number one. Okay, so on the last page, also, I don't have number. Okay, now on page my page two, which is my inner page, I have number one. The traditional way that we know is that if I insert a page after, then I will need to do my manual numbering. But in this case, now I'm not doing manual numbering. As soon as I insert a page after the page, then it will auto number the page. Now I want to delete this page. I want to show you something here because this page number two is where I have my hina. And for instance, it is an exercise book or a jotter. This is what is going to be in all pages. So for instance, I want to duplicate it. I just have to right click on this page here and uh, click on duplicate page now i will have this pop-up copy layers only or copy layers and their content so if i click on copy layers only it will not copy what is on the layer but if i click on copy layers and their content it will copy everything on that page so if i click on copy layers and their content and click ok then it will copy everything on that page and continue the auto numbering so as you can see the auto number continues we now have page number two so if i want to duplicate this page since i've duplicated it once i just need to press ctrl hard on my keyboard then to continue duplicating the pages you can see it has duplicated the page up to number seven okay and i now have page six on my screen okay so let me control z and show you something else here so i have page number two only now which is page one now if i want to design this number for instance or i just want it to be in a circle let me increase the heart line to four for instance and uh, i think it is okay like this remember that this does not come with the auto numbering okay so i just need to insert this circle so on inserting this circle i will right click on the page i want to duplicate and click on duplicate page now i will check copy layers and their content so it will copy it with this circle that i put this number then i click ok then if i press ctrl and r on my keyboard it will duplicate it how many times I want it duplicated. So you can see that from page one, I've duplicated it up to page four, and that circle is still included. Now, the question may be that, what if you are designing a book that the page contents are different? So what you will do first is that before you do your design, you do your page number first. So however you want to format your number, the, whatever design you want to give to his, you do them first, duplicate the pages, then you can now do your design on each pages. Now, another question that may be coming up is that there are books that um, you have two pages, that you will have two pages on a correct draw page. Like, uh, let me just add a page here and show you what I mean. Okay, so let me turn the orientation of this page you can see the page numbering once it goes out of the of your work area it turns to ash to tell you that there's a number there but it is out of page so if i push it to the page now you see that the six shows but i don't need this number on this in this place let me just delete it 
okay now there are designs that you do that you need to have two pages on a correct drop page just like this okay then i will be teaching this in my next tutorial so that this tutorial will not be too long so i'm going to teach you how to do your page number that this will be one two three four five and so on you are going to be numbering two pages in the page in correct row so if you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe to this channel i have a lot of contents to upload to this channel so that you will not miss any one of them turn on the notification bell and please like this video and share this video thank you for watching this video